hello guys welcome to another video in this react series in this video i am going to show you how to restrict a specific date range in reaction as you can observe here i have restricted dates from 2nd august to 16th august there might be some scenarios or requirements where you need to restrict certain number of dates or range of dates in that case you can make use of react's date picker library and restrict the dates like this for this let's open the code editor first here i have a dedicated component by name restrict defined dates and i have included this one in our main component that is app.js in this component first we'll start by importing the necessary modules at the top as you know we need a react component that's the basic one that's i have added here and another thing which we need is use state which we are going to use to manage our states in this react application so i have added that one in our first statement and we need react date picker library for that one add import date picker from react date picker and we also need style sheets for our date picker so don't forget to import the css file for that one we use react date pickers css file from this library once we are done with importing the necessary libraries then we'll create a state within this component to create a state i have used const and created a state by name selected date and i have initialized the value of this one to null using use state hook and I have defined a function by name set selected date which we are going to use to set the date of this state. Next, let's define a function called handle date change to update the selected date state which we have created whenever there is a new date is picked. So this handle date change function will receive the date and it will set the value of the selected date by using the set selected date function which we have defined earlier in our state next comes the main part where we need to define the range or the list of dates for which we want to disable it in our date picker library so here i have created an array with the start date and end date from 1st august to 16th august so this will select or disable the dates from 2nd of the august to 16th of the august once we are done with defining the dates the final part is to update the jsx element this is a part where we are going to define the jsx element currently we have only return statement with our main division so within this main division let me add one title which will display the message as dates from august 2nd to august 15 will be disabled then the main jsx element which we need to add is the date picker component itself in this one you can see the date picker with open and close bracket so this is the date picker component which we have imported from our date picker library then we have mentioned as inline prop which helps us to display this date picker inline which means it will be always visible to the user then selected is equals to selected date prop binds the currently selected date to the selected date state which we have defined initially in our component and then on change prop specifies a function by name handle date change so whenever there is a change in this date picker this function gets called and within this function set selected date will be called and selected date state value will be changed and the next prop here i have mentioned the date format as month first then date and finally year then the main prop is exclude date intervals a by name disable date ranges so this is the prop which helps us to disable the range of dates which we have defined so that's it once we are done with this component and run this one once this application compiled successfully switch to the browser with the url localhost 3000 now you can see the dates which we have mentioned those are got disabled here and similarly the message what we have displayed that is being displayed at the top so these are the simple steps which you need to perform to disable dates or range of dates in react application so based on your requirement you can mention different dates range or particular dates as well here that's it guys for this video thanks for watching this if you have any questions or want to see more tutorials like this Please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more coding tutorials.